Hey guys, EBP Man here. Uh, today we're going to review what I believe is probably the smallest Pico projector that we've seen on the channel. Uh, this projector is brought to us by ICOTUS. Let's check it out. Now the projector that we're going to be reviewing is the iCOTUS CB100S. And this is a mini portable uh, projector that not only is compact in size, and you're probably saying, hey, where is it? Well, watch this. There it is. So literally, it is... Uh, virtually the size of my Samsung Galaxy S7, you notice the dimensions here, and just slightly thicker. So if I had maybe a thicker case on the phone, they'd probably compete when it comes to size. So very compact and very portable. Now, it's not the highest resolution projector on the available on the market, but it solves a specific niche. And we're going to talk about the features, what's included in the box, and we'll see the playback. And you'll see why I'm so excited about this tiny projector. Now inside the box you're going to find your projector. You do have a power cord and a micro USB charging cable. You have a tripod, a little travel pouch, user guide and warranty card. So now taking a look at the specs for a brief moment. Uh, first of all the projector is using DLP technology. It does have Android 4.4 embedded in the unit. A contrast ratio of 1000 to 1 it has a quad core 1.3 gigahertz processor. Um, it does have a lower resolution, so this is going to be a 480p resolution projector. And I would say a lot of that has to do with the compact nature of the projector itself, but it's still very viewable, uh, and you'll see that in, in the review as we go through it. It does have multiple input. Uh, media cards, USB, and we're going to see that in a couple seconds, and the light source is LED. One of the things I found pretty interesting about this solution is that it does have output of um, HDMI and also has output for a headphone. So the HDMI output transforms this little box that you see right here almost into an Android TV box, and we're going to see how that works uh, just in a few minutes. The projection size is pretty outstanding because it could go anywhere from 10 inches to 100 inches in size, and and it is powered by a micro USB charging cable and it does have an onboard battery. So uh, that's also something that you're going to get at least like an hour and a half of battery um, use uh, from the device itself. Now, the other thing I think is pretty cool outside of the size, which is really light at 207 grams and great lamp hour battery life, is the fact that it uh, auto keystones. So, keystoning is when you're projecting an image against the wall and it kind of looks like it's in an angle, it will automatically adjust itself so it looks flat and doesn't look kind of uh, lopsided on the projection. Uh, on the wall that you're projecting on. So it's uh, it takes care of that automatically. So very decent specs for such a small device that literally will fit in your bad pocket, um, in your front pocket, or just you know in a briefcase if you're going somewhere and you want to have a full Android powered projector that literally you can connect the keyboard to it or anything or watch movies and that's what we're going to see now. So now as you saw during the initial unboxing or just the intro the projector is really small. It's literally the size of an iPhone uh, it's also the size of a Samsung Galaxy S7 um, Edge. And it does have here in the front some controls that you're going to be able to use uh, to navigate. You could, because it has uh, multiple inputs, you could connect a USB uh, keyboard or one of those wireless keyboards to it as well. So taking a look at the front, here you have your controls and they're all touch controls. You'll see them light up in a second. On the side here you do have your HDMI out. Uh, which allows you to connect this to a television, a micro USB, um, or actually a micro SD slot, USB, micro USB for charging, and then here's your power um, area. And this side, there's really nothing here except your focus. On the front, you'll see is the vent area, as well as your, this is where your projection is coming out. And on the bottom here, you do have where you can use that tripod to raise it, and then you have this little uh, arm that comes up that uh, well, it's going to give you the ability to place this in an angle if you'd like if you wanted to paint, point it up. Now besides that there's really nothing else to this. It's really straightforward and the last thing I wanted to highlight is that you do have a headphone jack there once again if you're projecting it against something and then you can plug in your headphone directly into the unit. Wow. Oh, there it is. So here you have what the screen looks like. And as you can see, the colors are very vibrant. Um, I'll try to make sure that I keep it without moving. You do have Kodi pre-installed. You do have Netflix. You have browser capabilities. You have Skype capabilities. And it's a full Android operating system. Not the most current operating system, but it still uh, supports uh, most of the app, if not all the apps that are on the marketplace right now. So as you can see, nice display, great color, and even though I do have one light source on, I'm getting good um, color quality and brightness out of the unit. 
Now, one of the things I wanted to show you is the keystoning. So watch how I, as I put the projector in an angle, how it auto adjusts. Let's go ahead and do that again. We'll bring it this way. You can see how it's auto adjusting. So I'm just moving it. And as I continue to move it, it adjusts. So that's what the auto keystone feature does. And again, this is going to allow you, if you're going to be projecting on a wall, on a ceiling, if you're in a camper, wherever you're taking this with, you'll be able to get a flat image. Now, once the projector is on, the other thing I wanted to show you is that the control screen here, uh, the buttons light up that allow you to navigate up, down, left, right. These are going to also serve as your volume control buttons. You do have a back and a home button here. So this really eliminates the need of having anything else with you. But there is software included that allows you to use your phone as a remote or once again, you can connect something uh, via Bluetooth to the side. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the interface and see uh, what things look like here. So things are broken down into four main categories, as you can see on the top of the screen. And I pretty much shut down most lights except uh, for a light source behind me, so just so you can appreciate the brightness and the kind of image that you're going to get. And what I'm looking at is probably about a 32-inch screen at this time. So what we're going to do is just uh, hit from, uh, from left to right. Uh, you have an app center. This app center does have the standard uh, Google Play Store, app store. Um, it does also have Gmail, it does have Miracast, so this is going to allow you to connect both with your Android phone as well as your iPhone, so you can actually um, do screen sharing. Uh, you do have a video player as well, a lot of video playing software capabilities, as well as if we go to the, to the other area, we'll go into Smart Apps, here's where you're having all of the apps are getting installed. It does kind of have a custom skin to it, so even though it's using Android 4.4, you do see uh, kind of like this custom skin um, interface here. Uh, so um, I'm using actual a wireless keyboard that has a mouse pointer on it just to make things a little bit easier. But I just wanted to give you kind of a sense of you know the kind of apps that are installed to see what's there and what's not. But pretty much it's any app that's on the App Store that's been installed. It does come with YouTube pre-installed. It does come with Facebook. And it does also have an Asian marketplace as well. And there is kind of like an office application um, that's available there as well. So now let's take a look at the uh, settings area. So what we'll do is we'll just come into the Wi-Fi area. And here you can see uh, the Wi-Fi that you're connected to as well as um, any uh, existing um, open Wi-Fi uh, access points that you can choose. You can set up your Bluetooth. You can even set this up as a uh, portable uh, hotspot. You do have here your display. And in this area, you're going to be able to adjust the font. You're going to be able to adjust the brightness, color temperature. It does have the ability to do rear view projection, too. So you, it will basically flip the image for you. And um, it does have keystoning, and like we saw where it does the auto keystoning. Now, as we move into advanced, and we'll take a look at see what's in there. Um, here you have a lot of the settings that you would mess with that are part of the standard Android operating system have been cleaned up for you so you can access that and then manipulate anything that you see in here that's important to you. Now device info is just going to give you build information and uh, you know just device serial numbers. Clear is going to allow you to clean up uh, the overall uh, memory so I like that it has that as well. Now let's talk about video because this is what it's all about. Now you have Netflix built in, uh, you have Facebook, you have YouTube, but one of the things I really like from a cord cutter perspective is Kodi. Now the version of Kodi that comes pre-installed is version 14.1. I went ahead and updated it to Kodi uh, 16.1 and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select that um, it immediately um, just overwrote it, it replaced it, and I also configured it. So it does come with Kodi pre-installed, but again, 14.1, and it doesn't have any of the add-ons. But it's really easy to find the add-ons online and just choose it. Now, again, once you start using uh, Kodi, Kodi, uh, for those of you who are not aware, is a an application, it's a media center application that with add-ons gives you the ability to download content off of the internet. And one of the most uh, powerful apps or add-ons that are available is this add-on here that is known as Exodus. Uh, we'll go into Exodus, and Exodus is going to give you access to several things. Uh, it's going to give you access to movies, TV shows, so we'll go into TV shows for a second. You can see uh, the most popular TV shows, you can see TV shows that are going to be airing today. and 
it really gives you that cord cutter experience. You can see these are all the TV shows, shows that are available and you can choose any TV show and start uh, playing. So if I choose this TV show Westworld, which happens to be um, a popular one now, I can see that it's broken down um, by every the by season and then also by each episode. And if I choose one of the episodes, all I do is I select on it. And once I select it, it's going to go through and try to source the video. This is what Cody does. Um, and with this Android being uh, projector combined it just gives you that media experience where you don't have to connect it to your phone to see a movie you don't have to connect it to your phone to watch Netflix everything is self-contained and it's going to give you a full media experience so now what we're going to do is we're going to just let this uh, source the movie and then once it pops up we'll come back and I'll show you how it plays now once your Cody choices come up I'm um, just going to choose one of them so that we can uh, get the movie playing or in this case a TV show. Um, it's about streaming so it's going to go out to the internet it's going to find the content and then it's going to start to Alright so now things look a little different and that's because I've connected it to my TV and I'm using the HDMI out that's built into the projector. So now the projector is turned into a smart TV box which is again outstanding. So now if I go down and I go into uh, Cody again and I'm just going to go ahead and select it down there. So let's go I'll select Exodus. Now that I've selected the stream you can see the content coming across and it looks pretty good. So this concludes my review of the iCODIS Pocket Projector. If you have any comments or questions, leave it in the comment area below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you see the little subscribe button right there, please select it. And if there's a video that you're interested in on the side here, go ahead and check it out. Thanks for watching.